it's just what it is. It was a sick day and my only goal was to make it through and rest, so. Hello, that was the best one, wasn't it? It's just what it is. It was a sick day and my only goal was to make it through and rest. So got Sebastian at the bus stop, came back, woke up Jax, made him breakfast and lunch, drove him to school, came home, did emails, ordered our Christmas Kringle was a wrist model for Danny making bracelets for his friends. Somebody has the same measurement as me, which is crazy because I've got the tiniest wrists. And then I made myself breakfast, I zipped myself up tight into that blanket hoodie and curled up there. I watched the final episode of the Wednesday series and then tried to nap got up when there was like half an hour till bus stop time so I could have a snack and then I went and got Sebastian and then I did some reading downstairs. Danny left to get his hair cut and they go I think get Yvonne or meet him or something. They went out and did something because they're still out. They're supposed to come back at 8 to watch a football game but it is. 809, so I don't know what's going on. And I would really like to get Sebastian to bed, but I don't know if I can convince him to. <sighs> anyway, I'm gonna start fading this out faster than normal. Normally, I just wash my roots and my bangs every day, but I will be fully scrubbing to fade that out, but I will go ahead and start on redoing my hair as soon as I feel up for it. I think I'm just gonna start from the bottom and go up. I still have a section I never did, so that section kinda sucks and I might need to jump up and do that one or it turns into little dreadlocks, but it is what it is. I just feel terrible. I have snot, it's not a ton. I had fevers all day mostly 100 degrees, which is just barely, 
but at one point I got really cold and I checked and it was over 101 so I took some Tylenol and tried my best to drink a lot of water but Sebastian chose that moment to start playing Animal Crossing City Folk and he can't read fast enough so I have to constantly tell him what they're saying, tell him what the choices are and then I realized like a half an hour went by and I hadn't drank anything at all. So hopefully I can drink a lot in my last little bits of time before bed. Hopefully I've had enough. I just am miserable. I didn't want to be sick again. I've been sick so many times. This is the fourth time since they started school and we're not even through the second quarter. I can mask all I want outside of the house, but then Sebastian just breathes down my throat. He comes to our bed in the middle of the night and I wake up with him breathing into my mouth. And he is sick too. He's been sick since a couple days into Jax's, but luckily his has just been a nonstop snot nose which they're allowed to go to school for that. They have tissues and sanitizer. As long as it's clear snot and no fever. So yeah, I'm just miserable. Everything, my throat hurts. The roof of my mouth itches. My inside my nose is burning and hurting. My eyes hurt and they itch. My nose keeps bleeding and I'm just cold, 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 cold. Not too achy, I'll say that, that's good. I haven't been alone with the kids since three. They haven't been too bad, but Sebastian kind of got annoying in the second Jax went to sit down and his favorite spot on the couch, he like squished his way over and refused to move. And I was like, please guys, just compromise. I ordered food and paid way too much because I got desserts too. And I didn't even order anything but dessert for Sebastian because he wanted mac and cheese at home. But yeah, I wasn't gonna cook. Not feeling good. Anyway, that was my day. I felt like my outfit was pretty cute and comfy, but nobody saw it and I've been wearing an extra sweater. But it's this shirt I got from the thrift store. It's slightly cropped, but not too cropped, so it works well with these leggings. And then we're my furry boots. It'd be cuter without the sweater, but the sweater has all the things I need, like sanitizer. There is Vicks. That's what I keep under my nose. I sanitize my hands after I use it. This little pouch, I put the zinc in so that if I realize it's time for a zinc, I can't go upstairs at that moment. I always have one with me. I need to take one in less than an hour. I can't imagine how much snot I would have if I wasn't taking it, but if this is already a snot cold this early into it, there's not much hope of it holding it off. I feel like it is helping because I don't think I've ever had fevers and not had total body aches. This is the first, so I'll take it. If it can make the cold move faster too, that's good, because normally I have a sore throat for way longer before anything else starts and the whole cold will be like three weeks long, but I feel like I've already like zoomed through one and a half weeks in just a couple days. I have to work at the school next Friday, so I have a week to get over this. So I'll mask up and Hopefully glove up. Oh, I think the guys just got here. So I'm gonna finish getting everything ready for bed. I just cleaned up Sebastian's room. I'm about to set up the medicines. And yeah, hopefully start bedtime. <sighs> Thanks for watching, even though this was short. I appreciate you. Stay safe, be kind, and don't forget, wash your hands.